Hello everybody, this is Bodrich. Uh, I actually made a recording of this video, but I will try to make a more compact, shorter version of this. I really want to do that because I don't want to waste uh, Franco's time here, because I, this video is first and foremost uh, to uh, illustrate how I work with projects in Sublime and how I think uh, they differ from how projects work in, in the light text editor, which uh, I have open here. And by the way, I like light so much that I have decided I will uh, give this a chance uh, as uh, to become my next text editor. I will not even try uh, this or any other text editor. I will stick to this. Uh, I haven't like 100% decided, dedicated everything to this, but uh, I will definitely give this a shot and it's uh, partly because I really like the editor but also because I like the, the um, development uh, of the editor which I partly like because I am now <laughs> partly part of it myself. I have opened a couple of pull requests here uh, which have gotten merged so I guess I am kind of a contributor to the project itself now so whatever but uh, projects here. I opened this thread. It's all, it kind of all started with this, me requesting uh, a more sublime-like uh, way of managing projects in uh, light. And I mentioned this in a previous video. Uh, the author, Franco here, uh, went ahead and uh, implemented some of the features in light. So uh, currently the, the project uh, projects works really well in light, I would say, but there are still some things uh, that could be improved, in my opinion at least, and there are some things that is di definitely different from both Sublime, but then also from my Sublime uh, uh, project management configuration, because I uh, I dare to say that I have like a unique way of doing this, uh, because I have a couple of uh, packages I have installed and I have also modified these packages a bit so I know that I am the only one who have this particular setup but it is actually really really uh, nice smooth intuitive to work with but it is a bit difficult to explain it in text here which I have tried to do but um, uh, Franco also mentioned this and this is why I'm doing this video now that it is really hard to follow exactly how I mean about this project and stuff so I thought let's make a, a short video here with me describing my project workflow. So that's what we're going to do now. Uh, and we kind of need to uh, use Sublime here uh, because Sublime have the features uh, I want to display. But I will also shortly show or quickly show how, how it uh, works in, in light at, at the moment. Also, I have two Sublime windows here. Maybe I should just close this one because it just makes it, or maybe not. Because this is one of the benefits with, pro these are two different projects. Also pay attention here to the title bar. Uh, this is the actual title of Sublime text here. It, uh, and this window is active. So first we have the path to the file that is open. Then in parentheses, it's the name of the currently uh, open project. And then this dash sublime text uh, information here. If I uh, make a change to this document, there I entered a new line, we can see we get this uh, dot here uh, in the title bar indicating that this uh, document is not saved. Uh, then I have a setting in sublime. So every time a, a document loses focus, like if I focus this document instead and go back here, you can see the dot has disappeared because I have it set to autosave. So maybe that is worth uh, uh, just mentioning here. Now this document has focus and we can see same title, but now a different project here in the parentheses. And I'm sorry for the small font here, but uh, what it say is light-xl. So light-xl is the name of the project I have opened in Sublime, which might be a bit confusing, but whatever. This particular project, it have three directories. And I guess we should uh, uh, explain what a project really is. And a project is uh, a set of directories. So you can start your editor or load a project, which will load as a, a specific set of directories uh, and only those directories. And those directories 
or folders, which they are called in, in Windows, uh, they don't have to be uh, related to each other or any, they can be any uh, directory on your local file system. Then I guess there are like uh, other editors. I don't think it's even possible with Sublime to add like a remote uh, directory or folder. And it also, I also have a hard time seeing how that could be like useful because that makes it kind of unreliable. Uh, you have to know that you have connection to that remote uh, uh, server to be able to display those files and stuff like that. So I don't think it's even possible at all in Sublime. I bet it, you can do something like it in other editors, but whatever. A project is a list of directories. And in Sublime, I can switch directory or, or I can switch project with a key binding. Uh, so if this is a command like switch project or something. Maybe it's even more clear if I bring up the menu and then there is actually a specific project uh, item in the menu here. Then you select switch project. Ah, that's right. This is one of the packages I have installed. It's such, such a long time since I set this up so I barely remember how it works. Because I have a plugin. This default way uh, Sublime manages this is not... Is not uh, that uh, intuitive in my opinion. So I have this project manager package which gives me a better menu for this and this lists all uh, projects that I have uh, have in Sublime and as you can see I have about 50 projects or something because I create projects all the time and that is that is uh, I would really like to hi highlight that for a moment that uh, you often hear the argument about like Features like, for example, I like I, I have tabbed uh, tabbed uh, uh, windows in in Sublime here. Now I'm not sure I want to open any here. So I have different tabs here. Uh, yeah, this is the project folder, by the way. I have different tabs in my window manager, and I often like to shill i3, and spe specifically because it has such an excellent tab tabbed window support. And then you often get like. Uh, the reply, well, uh, I don't use tabs. Well, maybe you don't use tabs because your window manager or desktop environment have a very poor or none support for tabs. Maybe that is the reason you don't use it. And when you have a good support for something, then you all of a sudden find yourself, find it easy to use something and then you use it a lot more. So it, and that is kind of related to the thread uh, about projects that just because a workflow is not common, maybe that is just because uh, there are no, no good implementation uh, uh, yet. But I believe my, my way of working with projects makes it so easy to create new project, projects, to switch between projects and uh, manipulate projects. So I have these different projects here. If I go to Sublime, because I have a project in Sublime called Sublime with all the Sublime configurations and then you can see I get a completely different set of directories here in the sidebar. Um, and uh, I'm not sure now exactly which key binding it is, but this is like built into Sublime. It's possible to set up a key, hotkey, but you have to set it up yourself to open the current project's uh, configuration file. Uh, which we can see here, by the way, in, in this Thunar window. We can also see them here. I have that projects, projects directory in the sidebar. And this Sublime project, it, it is one of my more configured ones because I have added a lot of uh, different uh, exclude patterns and stuff because you can do that. But we can easily see that this, or it's easy to see in the sidebar, is the easiest way to get an overview of a project. Project. Here we have six directories and all these six directories are specified with its own uh, with its own little uh, JSON object like this uh, and the only only key that you need in that JSON object uh, I believe is path and then the, the um, yeah, then the absolute path to a directory you want to display. You can also, and then it will automatically have the same name as the actual directory you want to list there. But one feature that I 
miss at the moment in light is the ability to change the name of, of a directory. And then you just add a, a, a new key here and then you can say new name ha ha ha. And there, now, now this directory is called new name ha ha ha, but that's just a, a label, so to speak here. It's just for, to, to make it easier if I would like that in, in the project to see what this uh, project or directory is. Now, of course, this was a really bad name, but sometimes this really makes sense. For example, in this light Excel project here, where all three directories here, these are three different directories, but they just happen to be named the same thing, light Excel. So if I open this project, we can see uh, what these three directories are. One is the user configuration, .config slash light Excel. One is the um, uh, Git repository that I have cloned. So I have here Git clone light Excel. So this is the source code. It's a different thing than, than the, than the uh, configuration file. But then I also have the system uh, configuration at USR share light Excel. Uh, and this is a very common project structure for me. This is especially with things like this, like open source projects. I, I often like to, to clone the source have the configuration in one place and then user configuration in a third. So this is not a weird thing uh, and it's not unusual at all. And, and they most of the time actually have this, they have the same name of the directory. Uh, and there's nothing uh, weird about that. And I think that it would be make much more sense to be able to change these labels in the sidebar than uh, having to change like where or configurations change like changing the default config co config path and stuff like that so here um, for example for the for the config I think a, a good name for that is maybe a config like that or maybe user you just need a, a, a good uh, naming convention for this you know uh, and then maybe the, the git uh, repo could be called uh, git whatever as you can see this is just for me uh, and then we could call this usr for example and now it kind of makes uh, makes it a little bit easier to, uh, to know what these uh, uh, different directories uh, refer to and i don't have to add even light excel because i know that this is the light excel project so in a way that can uh, be seen as redundant information, but you sometimes I do this. I just add the, the path, the full path as the name because it's just a label. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't matter what the name here is. It's just a visual cue. Sure, now this got a bit large, but then you could of course use uh, tilde if you wanted that and, and so on. I think this is a kind of an important feature actually to be able to change uh, the name like this. And now I'm just modifying. I'm not even sure I can do it here. Um, well, yeah, I can rename from, I can right click these uh, uh, items here in the sidebar, select rename. But to be fair, yeah, that probably renames the directory itself. So that doesn't rename the, the I think so. Yeah, this was weird. I will not even try it here. So, so you kind of have to change this uh, configuration file to change the name. I think it would be uh, nice if you could do that here in, in the menu. Sometimes I, I use this menu. It, it's one of the easiest way to remove uh, a folder from the project. I just select it from, from the menu here, remove it. And then now it's not part of, of this project anymore. If I would switch to Sublime, and then I switch back to Light. You see, it's, it's, it, it remembers every setting you do. But of course, you can also remove a, a directory by removing it from this settings thing here. It also works. Uh, and if you want to add a, a directory, you can, of course, just add it like this. And now we have that. We could change the path here if we wanted to. Like, uh, now I don't know, Git's clone. We got the one that's called X11. I don't even know what it is. I clone too much. Now this uh, this directory refers to a completely different uh, path, but it have the same label and stuff. I think you are following how this works. Nothing weird about it really. But you can also set up some advanced options like filters for the different directories. So this makes sure to not include uh, any 
any folder that starts with a dot here, for example, if I would remove this pattern, it would include, for example, the, the uh, dot git directory. And most of the time you don't want this because especially the dot uh, git directory may include a lot of, of files and stuff uh, and, and cache files and things like that. Yeah, you know, git. But sometimes it is also useful to have have the git directory and then you can set up a more advanced pattern here to maybe include the first the childs but not the subchildren and stuff. But you can do all of that with these uh, exclude patterns things. Uh, this only excludes uh, whole folders and then there is one that is file exclude as well that uh, which lets you exclude files. I think it's a bit weird. It feels like they could have used the same exclude pattern for both files and folders in my opinion, but whatever. And then there is a third option that is exclude binary uh, patterns, but let's not get into that uh, right now. Just change this. <clears throat> when I want to add a, a, a directory here to Light Excel, I use uh, the key binding Control O, and Control O it uh, launches a, a, a command, and that command I think I have to go to Sublime here again uh, is to a package that is called. Uh, let's see if I have this now. It's uh, I very seldom change anything in my, my Sublime config here, so yeah, it is eye opener. I know it's that. I'm not sure where I have declared the key binding for it, but eye opener is a, is a package for Sublime uh, that uh, lets you open uh, files uh, in a much more uh, native way in my opinion uh, it, it does this you get this address bar down here instead of uh, because the normal way in sublime is that you get the stupid file picker probably the gtk insane file picker that no one likes i think this is much much better and light actually have the same thing when you want to op open a file you can get something very similar but eye opener have a bun uh, a couple of uh, extra features to, to it. One is that it always uh, writes the, the path to the currently open files uh, uh, directory is pre-filled in because most of the time when you when you execute this open a file command, it is related to the file you are viewing. Like that that is almost the case, almost always the case. So it brings up the, the same directory and this is useful for all kinds of things. Sometimes I, sometimes I use this just to get the directory name. I just copy this and, and I don't want to open anything. I just want to see what is the name of this directory. I use it for that as well. Uh, <clears throat> but if I want to open, uh, open a file, I can open any file with this. I don't have to open a file in this uh, specific uh, project. I can open, for example, my bash RC, my home directory. It's not part of this. Uh, project at all and that just opens uh, bash rc here uh, it doesn't add anything to the project this file is just open now in the, in this project because this is one of the things with projects in sublime and also light at the moment is that you cannot add a single file to a project you can only add directories you could add a directory. I could add, in theory, the home directory and then exclude all files except bash rc if I wanted something like that. But I would still have like a home directory entry in the in the in the project here, so to speak. So, and I, in my opinion, I would actually like to be able to add uh, single files as just as you can add uh, directories. I haven't mentioned this in in that thread, but that is something to keep in mind. Uh, but with this uh, eye opener, and it's also kind of weird here, it's eye opener, but it's a find file. If I would, uh, instead of choosing, um, can, I guess we should go to my home directory here. Uh, yeah, let's take the bin directory. My bin directory just contains uh, a gazillion uh, number of, of uh, sim links to shell scripts. Uh, so this is, uh, and bin is part of my path. And I, I often add the bin directory to projects. And to do that, I just enter the path to the directory. This is not a file, it's a directory. 
well, everything is a file, but you know what I mean. And when I do that, it doesn't open any file or anything. Instead, it adds that directory now to this project. So now I got, uh, I can see all the scripts there in bin here in the sidebar. Uh, and here's another quick thing, uh, a, a difference between light and sublime. Sublime have, have this way of, there, a file can have uh, two different states, kind of. You see, when I change file here in the sidebar, in the project, it, it uh, display them in the same tab here. It doesn't create a new tab every time I, I click on a file here. And we can also see that uh, the title of the tab is italic to know, to indicate that this is, um, this is actually just a preview. Uh, if I want the tab to stick, so to speak, then I double click here and now it isn't uh, italic there. And when I uh, try to preview a different file, we, we, uh, it keeps that one that I double clicked. But it will also stick, so to speak, if I, if I m manipulate a file. So now this is dirty. We can see it isn't changed here and we have uh, edited th this file. That also removes that preview uh, mode of it. Then I also have a plugin. You can see it constantly closes tabs. As soon as I open a new one, it doesn't let me have more than, uh, I think I have set it to five open files at the same time. And this doesn't really count as a file, this preview uh, mode here. And maybe it's just me who have gotten used to this, but I actually think this is a good idea to have this this way because I, I noticed that in light that when you browse a project, for example, you just want to open a bunch of files, it's very easy to all of a sudden have like 50 open files just because you have quickly done this. Uh, you don't want to open a tab every time, maybe. But maybe it's just me who have gotten used to it. That was a side, uh, side note here, whatever. I should open a, 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 its own issue for that. Um, but what I wanted to display here is that I can both open files and I can also open directories with this iOpener package. It's the same command um, and the same key binding, control O. But I can actually do even more things uh, with this. If I try to open a file that doesn't exist, let's just uh, name it uh, doesn't exist here. Markdown maybe in my home directory, which I have open in Thunar here, by the way. So if I open this, this document, then it creates a new file. Or it doesn't create a new file, it opens a new buffer. Uh, and as soon as I save this buffer, we can see now we have that file here in my home directory. And this even works uh, if the directory doesn't exist either. So if I would try to, if I do this, um, new deed slash hello, md and I'm ju just using markdown it doesn't matter this is just to illustrate now we can see uh, that we have a new directory in my home directory it's empty because we haven't saved this document but as soon as I do now we have that file so I use this uh, eye opener thing to also create files create subdirectories to add directories here to open files you see I, I use it for a, a bunch of different things it's not really a Unix philosophy uh, kind of thing, but I, I don't care. It, it, uh, it, it feels right to do all of this with the same command because in, in my brain, I'm thinking, okay, I need to open a file. I need to oh, add a directory. I, I, don't, I don't think these uh, functions are confusing. Uh, and all of those things I can do with this. And I also really like the fact that it... Uh, automatically uh, 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 adds the, the name of the directory the, f the file I'm viewing uh, has, so to speak. Then I have a different, uh, different, uh, mm -mm -mm. yeah, where do we, no, no. Now I lost these uh, files I created, you know, it doesn't exist, that doesn't exist in the project either. Uh, a new deal, uh, those files doesn't, uh, uh, to open them now, I, ha I would have to open uh, that file in new deal here. So let's say I do that, new deal and then hello md. Now we have opened that file. But many times uh, uh, when I do something like that, it's like uh, I go here and then, oh, I need to open that file in new deal. Uh, so I navigate to that and then I realize, hey, maybe I will need to keep track of this uh, directory. 
So instead of opening the file, I add it to the project and then I open the file from here. Uh, imagine now that this directory contains more files or maybe maybe even more subdirectories and stuff. Uh, it just becomes a natural thing to do this. Um, otherwise, uh, it would be like I open the file and then I forget to add the directory. I close the file and then I realize, hey, I have, uh, and this saves me time actually to, to constantly modify my project adding directories uh, as I need them and stuff. Uh, and I've, I have even found myself now that I add a lot of directories to my projects that isn't really related to the project, uh, like temporarily for, for a session with that project. Maybe I, uh, there is something that is somewhat related. I just need that directory now to have as a reference. Maybe I'm working on a homepage uh, and let's say I, I I have the source for a different homepage and I just would like to see them side by side just for now when I'm laying out stuff and then I remove the the inspiration homepage from them. Yeah, you see, you, you can do so many things with this if it's easy to do. Uh, and, most of, uh, and I also found that the easiest way to remove the correct project because I find it you can remove uh, uh, you can remove uh, uh, project directories from this command menu. Project manager, and then you can do remove project, and you can remove dev. You can do do some things here. Um, now I don't even know which one it is because I never use this. But you can remove folders from the menu, but I never do that because I find it's uh, too too dangerous, you know, uh, because it feels like, am I removing uh, the folder from from the disk am i removing the whole project this i actually prefer to just do this to know i right click this item i select remove from folder i didn't select delete folder i selected this this is what i want to do and then i do that and that's how i uh, uh, remove stuff but i add i i always use open file here to add directories to to the project uh, and we should add that again here we have hello open here. Uh, I also use this uh, plugin. It's uh, not 100% related to, to projects, but I have this move rename uh, thing. That is also a package I've installed to get like an advanced move rename thing here. We can immediately see it's like a different um, package or something because it doesn't uh, write the tilde, which this opening thing does. It's, I think that is something to, to make this be feel professional. It should like be consistent with things like that whatever but move rename just as the name say make it lets me rename this uh, file here and now it immediately changed name name here to hello rename and i can rename it again if i want to uh, but i can also move it so and i can move it anywhere uh, even to an a non-existing directory like this and now it created that directory we have the file there instead and it moves it everywhere like in the buffer and stuff here I don't have to change anything I find this very useful as well uh, but this is also something I use like this I just press f2 here to open this menu just to get the file name in an easy way and then I can copy it and then maybe I want to use the path to this file in some other somewhere else whatever it can be all kinds of things maybe on the terminal whatever so that's uh, that's my workflow with uh, projects. And if you haven't realized that the big benefit with projects is that one, you can switch between projects in a super fast way. And projects in Sublime, by the way, it also, it saves everything. It doesn't just save what uh, directories is included in that uh, project. It also saves all open uh, files, uh, all open tabs. Well, in this project, there are no tabs because instead I, uh, this project have all open files displayed here in the sidebar. It's something you can set up here in sidebar, show, show open files here. Uh, because projects in Sublime, it, it also saves the state of the, the UI. We can see we have the menu bar here visible. We have no tab bars. We have this part visible. I go to a different project here, Sublime. It have tabs, it doesn't have that stuff, it doesn't have the menu bar. I go back to that that one and that have all of those UI elements. And that's why I wanted to, to also display this, my notes project here. 
uh, which is a sublime window. I sometimes get questions about what kind of window this is, but it's just a normal sublime window. Uh, but I have just uh, uh, hidden all UI elements of it. Like, yeah, hide sidebar, hide uh, status bar, hide uh, menu bar, like this. Now I have done this with, with my Hugo Budlabs project here. And Sublime remembers the, the, the state of the UI and it remembers the position of the cursor in all open files. It, it's kind of incredible in this. And I, I guess uh, there is some, if all of that uh, should be implemented in, in light, I don't know, uh, because I guess that's uh, a lot of work, uh, but I definitely think it's possible. And I think it's kind of nice, but it's not that important to be honest. Uh, it's not even important that it, it remembers uh, all open files. Just being able to switch between a set of directories like this uh, is, is enough to make uh, projects extremely useful. Um, and the reason you want to have like a specific set of directories is that uh, it makes it much easier to search for files and the text inside those files. I can use this find in file and then I can uh, specify to only search it in the project like this and stuff like that. And, and this, this um, uh, uh, feature actually already exists in, in light and it's super fast, it's super good. So that's just one of the benefits working with projects that it's very easy to search uh, within the project for something. Uh, now I don't know what to search for here, but let's say escape, whatever, it should get some. And then I very qu quickly get an overview of uh, where I have escape in in these uh, somewhere in this uh, in this project and as you can see it is in all kinds of files but it only searches this project imagine if I would search my home directory for ESC it would find like thousands of occurrences of it so it's for limiting your scope so to speak of what you to what you are working with but what another uh, nice thing is that you can also quickly search for files uh, with the control P here, then I can search for files, but only in the current directory. It doesn't uh, display any other files. And that's, that is also a reason why it is so fast, because there is like a limit to how many files it displays. That feature also exists in light. So I'm not sure I, I need to do that. I have light open here as well, uh, that I have to sh uh, show how light works because the differences aren't that many actually. It's one difference is that I haven't found a, a way to rename, uh, rename uh, the directories. So if I would open like two directories with the same name, but with different contents and paths, they would be named the same thing in the sidebar. That might sound like a small silly thing to care about, but it is actually, an important feature in my opinion um, and also uh, you cannot right click or do anything you can actually not right click anywhere in light uh, it's like they haven't implemented anything about the right click thing I don't think that is like top priority but I have found myself that that is the uh, way I like to manipulate like de delete remove folders from a project that's that's the way I want to do that but you can do it in, in light with the uh, uh, core remove directory and we we had a discussion about this in the thread that maybe these should be re uh, renamed these actions so i would prefer this, this being called remove folder from project and add folder to project because this doesn't really say anything about projects and and this is why i don't like these kinds of commands in sublime either because remove directory, it's like, no, I don't really want to remove anything. I just want to not have it in my project. It's like, uh, you, you want to be sure that you're not deleting things when you don't want to. You, you get what I mean. Uh, but I'm sure, uh, and I'm, uh, I think that uh, Franco also agreed that these should be renamed and I think they soon will. So whatever, but you can remove a directory from with this command here. But uh, actually you can't. I cannot remove uh, the the base uh, uh, directory in light because in li light works different with projects. Each project is uh, connected and bound to a specific directory. Uh, and that's very different from how Sublime works. Oops. 
Now I press Ctrl Shift C, which is a default key binding to change project here in light. Uh, if I want to do that, then I will get prompted here that I have uh, an unsaved file, but yeah. And, and as you can see, it's super fast to switch between projects in light as well here. Uh, and it also have this open uh, the last uh, the last uh, tabs and everything. So it have a lot of, of, of the functionality uh, already. And it looks like it also keeps the, at least, maybe it doesn't keep the cursor position, but it keeps the scroll position. And, and that is, to be fair, more than enough, you know. It's really, really good. And it's, uh, most of all, it's really, really fast to switch projects. I, I even experience this being faster than Sublime when you switch projects. And Sublime is like lightning fast uh, switching projects. Uh, there is this weird bug. It might be me who have ac accidentally <laughs> added some way that sometimes I get a bunch of log messages uh, when I switch projects here. I have to look into this. I don't, I'm not sure what's going on, but whatever. Light works very, very well. It's just like small things like the ability to be able to, to change the name. And I would also like to see the, the ability to, to completely have the projects uh, 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 independent, so to speak, not dependent on a specific directory. Um, and that also leads me to, in Sublime, all projects you can see are stored in a directory, all the project files, you know, the, these guys that I opened. All of them are stored in a project's uh, directory like this. And I think that organization uh, just makes sense. It also makes it easy to implement the feature uh, in, in the editor because all you have to do to list the projects uh, uh, is to uh, parse this uh, directory and list all, in this case, dot sublime project files here, but without the file extension, as you can see. It's very, very neat. Maybe this is also a good idea to have in light to display the, the name of the project like this. Um, and then it would also, uh, in, in, in the menu in Sublime here, we can also see an asterisk, meaning that these projects are open. And here we can see that the notes project is listed as open because it actually is, but in a different uh, window. This is also a kind of a tricky advanced uh, uh, feature with multiple windows. And I have actually not looked into how uh, light manages multiple windows uh, of the application at all. That is also uh, not important in my opinion. Uh, and I think focusing on a single window uh, thing is, is uh, a workflow is uh, most important. Which also, just as a quick, since we are here, uh, this uh, uh, document is now dirty. I have uh, not saved it. I tried to change project to i3 here, for example, and then I get this pop-up window. I really don't like that, and it have this weird font that uh, is like loaded from from um, Light's source code itself. It's not my normal UI font that I have in my system, and it, it it's not even the UI font I have set up in 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 Light. Uh, but even more. And also I get this Windows 95, at least here with my compositor and stuff. It doesn't really like this pop-up window. Uh, and the pop-up window itself is, uh, I don't see why, why it uh, exists at all. Because uh, if you would create a new file in light, with new doc here, uh, and that is unsaved. So this is a file that doesn't exist. If I, if I add stuff to this and now try to change project, well, no, that didn't happen. Sometimes you get the prompt here instead. Um, I would much rather not see ever see this pop up and instead you could have the prompt being uh, displayed in this command view instead. Just saying here, do you want to save uh, un unsaved changes before switching project, whatever. Uh, maybe that it happens when I uh, try to quit light here, if I do this. No, I don't. I don't even remember. But I sometimes I have seen that, and that is also kind of weird that both of them exist. No, I tried to close the tab. I, I middle click the tab. Now we can see. Now I get the prompt here. I would prefer this prompt always, uh, of course. 
maybe a, a, a different style for this type of prompt maybe have a red background color or something just to make sure that this is like a warning if prompt or something i don't know but this is much better than the pop-up window side note not really related to projects or anything but since <laughs> i remembered it here it is close without saving there so that's my little video about uh, how i work with projects uh, i first uh, intended to, to make this a private video only for uh, franco here for this thread but i figured this might be uh, uh, something that others are interested in because it doesn't matter if you're using light or sublime this is definitely something you could get inspired by how i uh, use this and this is something that have uh, evolved so to speak for me over many many years uh, i think I st and i started using sublime maybe 10 years ago i started using projects maybe three four years ago because i could never get it working correctly the default way sublime wants you to work with projects are, in my opinion very clunky and you often end up with multiple windows yeah or let's not even get into it since it's not a problem in light at all but i think in the default way sublime wants you to work with projects is to each project in a new window and that is one of those things that this project manager package does it always opens the projects in the same window aha i just remembered one last thing that is kind of important i haven't shown you how to create a new project uh, if we go back to the home directory with my uh, new deed thing here let's say we want to create a new project with a new deed as the one of the entries what I do then in Sublime is I close the current project and there's a there's a like a command for this uh, which I have bound to Alt W there. Now I don't have a project open. We can see the title bar is empty. I don't have a sidebar. You cannot even toggle the sidebar because it the, the it's it's a completely empty project project. This document that is just a temp buffer that exists nowhere except memory, you know. Uh, and if I would open a file here now, let's say bash rc, it will open that file. But this file now doesn't belong to a project or anything, it belongs to this uh, empty project thing. It's just an open file. And I think this is how most people just use Sublime like this. Uh, um, but if I would open a, a, a directory, let's say this new deed, uh, that would uh, Normally that would just add that directory to the current project, right? But since I don't have a project now What it instead will do and this is uh, a modification. I have done to this myself this this workflow uh, What will happen is since there doesn't exist a project to add this directory It will create a new project and add that directory to that project one thing the, a drawback though is that it will probably remove this file from that uh, project you, you will see here i add this this happens um, no it didn't remove bash rc that's good it asked me for a name for the project so this is actually the project name and then we can say my hello and it also changes the name. Yeah, it did remove bash or C there. Uh, that is, I guess, something that could be improved. Uh, but now we have a project here called Proj Hello. And by default, it also adds the name of the project to the name of that directory I added there. Sometimes I change this, whatever, you, you know. But now I have that project here in my project manager. And I can easily switch to Proj Hello if I ever would like to do that. And of course, I don't want this project, so that would mean I use this project manager, remove project, my project hello. Okay, and now we got an empty project, and we don't that project doesn't exist. And what that means is it just removed those uh, project files here. All right, I think that's everything and I definitely think that is something that should be implemented in light uh, the way to close a project because I, we, we had a discussion about this and, and Franco mentioned that that uh, at the moment light doesn't have a concept of not having a project open and that is also a bit weird that the, the first time you open light it will automatically open with I think the current the, the directory 
from where you spawn the command will be the project. And that is very unfortunate if you are in a uh, directory that contains uh, too many files because there is like a soft cap or it, it is actually a hard cap but you can change that cap on how many files uh, a project uh, can index. Uh, and when I started Lite the first time, it added the home directory as the project directory. And my home directory, I don't know, but it contains probably over 10,000 files. But the cap in Lite is set to a project can uh, cannot index more than 2,000 files. And what happens is, yeah, maybe we can even uh, open, because uh, I have this home, home directory here. And you can see my home directory is added to this project. But I bet that, yeah, if I click some of these directories, they don't even expand because it, it, it cannot index all files here. There are too many files in my home directory. So, so then this is maybe the first thing that people see. They see a, a new light window. They have the home directory in the sidebar, but it's kind of broken. Some of these you cannot open. Uh, I'm not saying that this is bad that they have this cap. I actually think it's good because it's sometimes this happens in sublime i have noticed that that sometimes i by mistake add a directory that contains like tens of thousands of files or sometimes by mistake sometimes just not without realizing i think it's a it's a small little uh, directory but uh, somewhere inside there there is a, like a compiled uh, data directory containing tens of thousands of files and that slows everything down and it uh, uh, it eats a lot of, of memory if you would do that. So it's a very good thing, in my opinion, that it does have a cap on the, the number of files. Um, and I am, um, since I know a lot about the projects and stuff, I, I immediately understood what was going on here, but I think uh, many new users might just experience this as, as broken. So what should actually happen is that the first time you start light, it shouldn't have a project open. It should start uh, like Sublime here with a blank project, with, with no project. Um, and then you manually add the directories yourself that you want to use. Then that would never happen. And that would also mean, uh, because right now you cannot really close a project. Uh, you can just create new projects, but you cannot close a current project. Uh, and if the the feature that i would would like you know to be able to add a, a directory with the same command as you open a file and stuff like that then it kind of makes sense to be able to close a project to be able to create a new one with that workflow so i hope my workflow here now makes a little bit more sense and now i'm speaking to franco but maybe to others as well uh, and i uh I really encourage anyone to try to get this project uh, switching workflow in whatever editor you're using. It is just files and stuff, you know, so you could get it anywhere, I guess. Sometimes you need to fiddle a bit more than with other editors. I know that uh, Emacs, uh, I believe, ha have good uh, um, project management plugins and stuff. I don't know so much about other editors. Uh, not even sure about VS Code. I think VS Code by default, it can only display one. Uh, a project in VS Code is just a single folder. You cannot add like unrelated folders as we have here, if you understand what I mean there. If you don't, whatever. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.